Hey, what's up guys, I'm back in another video. Now, I just woke up from, like, my sleep, and I usually check my Discord servers, and this one's pretty ironic, since, uh, not Pyro is actually even the SS community, and I actually thought that would never happen. And his paragraph of, like, just leaving is pretty, pretty ironic, because... If you don't pay attention much to the content creator chat as his discord, you could just go there and read it right now, but I'll just read it. Hey, uh, I'll be leaving the socialized community. It's been a great ride, but I've lost interest in socialized and I want to move on to other games. Something I want to say is when I when I first played this game, it was a really fun experience around 2019. Because this was the best UT game at the time. Probably still is. And there are games to us the socialized, and that's really cool. I wish bring the best of luck with the rework and some final things are. This community needs to grow up teamers, arcade toxicity. This is a video game. You aren't gonna force people to change the dealer. What are you gonna do to their house and go stands on them if you don't stop? No, you don't do that. If you're mature now, you will ignore them. I met a bunch of friends here and about had a fun time. See ya. I'll leave this corner about an hour when people have seen this message. So what I think about like what's ironic of this is that the not pyro drama where he teams of exploiters. Like Come on now. He's probably learned his lesson. And the only thing that knows he's like growing up is this this community needs to grow up. And he's right about that. He, this community actually needs to grow up like they complain so much about teamers, randoms, toxicity. Like randoms don't even exist. How long have we been saying that for? Like come on. Teamers, if you team, you're just bad at the game. Like, yeah, there's no rule book to saying where you can't team, but like, you, you're just being an asshole. Toxicity, you, you know what? You probably have a stress. You probably had a stress day. Don't push that toxicity onto someone else. Try to like, try to put that in some other way. But yeah, at the same time, it's a fighting game, so. There's going to be some toxicity, and I don't think there's one fighting game where there's zero toxicity. There's gonna be some, but yeah. From my own experience, not Pyro. I've only heard bad things about him, not really the good things, and that's why like everyone's so like everyone thinks really low of Pyro when it comes to like him doing good things. Especially since the not pirate team of exploiters drama, that was um that was really bad. But this over here, like, I'm wondering why did he write this paragraph in such a like a friendly tone? Like, hey, uh, no one, no one really says that. Well, not mostly from not pyro. But whenever people say hey, uh, they usually kind of nice. But nah. But I guess that's basically it for this video. Just informing people about not power leaving the community. Now people are probably gonna be like, woohoo, yeah, he's leaving the community. We don't have more toxic people. I mean not pyro I wouldn't say he's a bad content creator. But like whenever you go to his videos, his like to dislike ratio is just insane because people hate him because he teams and yeah. But Best of luck to you, Pyro, and uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.